Forex Live. It's our Monday evening edition. So this is our quick class. This is the one where we take the opportunity to go through and uh, have a look at our, our daily report as well as the alerts from Forex Show and show how to utilize those with our trading system. So we show how to put those in and utilize the tools that come with your 21st Century Forex Trader uh, subscription. So before we get started though, I do need to let you know that unique experiences and past performances do not guarantee future results. Uh, I think everyone here understands that. We know that trading involves risk. It's not necessarily right for all investors, but uh, you know, and definitely should be trading only with risk capital and do your homework before you decide to trade live. Uh, I'm going to pause for just a second and give you an opportunity to read through that before we move on. All right, that should be long enough. All right, so as I said, tonight's class, it doesn't really take too long. We're here just for a very short amount of time. We're here to show how we utilize our uh, chart trader software, pending order software, in order to park the trades that we have with, uh, with Forex Joe's alerts. And then we also go through the daily reports to show, our, to show everyone how we can utilize that report for 22 currency pairs to set up the entire week of trading time. So uh, with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. We should have open uh, your trading terminal with a template loaded for your uh, 21st Century Forex tools. Uh, you should also have open your daily report and your Forex alert from Forex Joe. So let's start here. Let's begin with the alerts. And what we'll do is we'll scroll down. Forex Joe every evening does uh, a great job of going through and, and summarizing what's occurred in the marketplace and then gives his personal updates on what he's expecting to see in the market over the course of the uh, trading evening and the following day. And uh, then he puts those out for us. And so every night we have some opportunities to trade. We have buy signals and sell signals. And uh, from here, we'll just scroll down to those and uh, go ahead and see what we've got. So tonight, for example, and I encourage you to read the whole report, by the way. I mean, it's, it's not just about the buy and sell signals. There's a lot more that goes into this. So I encourage you to read everything that's on this report. But for the course of the evening, we're just going to scroll straight down to the, um, to the actual market analysis and the current conditions along with our buy and our sell signals. It is important to know that uh, sometimes this uh, additional information is key to us as we begin trading, especially as we're trading live in live market conditions. So uh, tonight though, let's go ahead and, and have a look here. What we've got is we have a buy at 37.74 and a sell at 37.50. So in order to park these, it's pretty darn easy utilizing the chart trader software, the pending order software. So let's just go ahead and give ourselves a fresh chart here. What we'll do is we'll grab our template, go down here to pending order pro because we want to park trades that are pending for later execution and uh, once that's there, once we've selected that, then um, we'll see red lines and green lines on our screen. And once we have our red and green lines, we can simply move those to, um, to park our orders. Now again, we see that we had a buy at 37.74. So in order to enter that, all we would do is we grab our, our green line and we, we're going to move this to 37.74. Pretty easy, right? Now just grab the green line, move it down, you can see uh, where it is, either by uh, just kind of eyeballing it like I'm doing right now, or uh, we can also, if you want to be right on the money, you can actually right click on the, uh, the, the green line and choose 3774. Just input that figure, put it in twice so we don't have a, a lopsided line there, and automatically the, the line's moved. Uh, then we're going to set our profit taking pretty quick. We don't want to, you know, have a 30 pip risk and a 5 pip take profit or vice versa. So we're going to take profit pretty darn quick and we'll uh, we'll take profit here at about 5 pips. Forex Joe normally tells us that we want to take our first level of profit 5 to 8 pips and then 8 to 12 pips for take profit too. Um, could be more if we're monitoring this live but in our case tonight we're going to be parking these trades so we'll look to grab our profits quickly so we're going to take off one third right here at 37.80 and then we'll take the next third off at 37.83 and we'll leave the uh, final lot there to run. Uh, sometimes our, our other lines hide out from us. If they do that, we just simply have to uh, locate them and move them in. So once that trade is set, we can either click here to move to buy or we could go ahead and set our sell signal as well and move to buy and sell executing two pending trades at one time. So let's go ahead and do the pending uh, sell order 
that's um, at 37.50. So in order to do that, all we have to do is uh, move this right down to 37.50. Again, you can eyeball it, you know, like I'm doing right here, or if you want to be right on the money, you can just right click and enter that trade um, as I did earlier. And then of course, if you want to keep our, our stop loss fairly tight, we're not, uh, again, we're not risking 30 pips to make eight. We're going to keep our stop loss pretty tight. Market is slow. That's why it took so long to, to click over. Market is just moving slow, slow, slow. And uh, then we can move our take profit lines into place here. And once those are in, exactly where we'd like to have them, then we simply click move to sell and the order's on. Just that easy. Now, um, once these orders are in, you can modify anything here on your charts if you'd like to you know, extend your take profit to or tighten it or tighten your stop. Um, you can do all of that right here on your chart just by grabbing the line and moving it. Uh, same once the trade's even underway. You can still trade from your charts just by grabbing a line and moving it to the new location for your uh, take profit level or stop loss or whatever it might be. So uh, really, really easy to use. Uh, let's do this one more time, and we'll do it on the pound USD. Uh, let's have a look over here. Pound USD uh, says here we have a buy at 63.17 and a sell at 62.99. So looking here, 62.99 looks like we uh, might be right about there. 62.99 for our sell. Let's see, 62.99 would be right there. Alrighty. And let's, see, let's just move this out of the way so it doesn't keep popping up on us here. So here we have our 62.99, and we have our stop loss right here. Let's drag that down about five pips or so. We'll look to take profit at about five pips, and then we'll stretch it out a little bit for number two. There we go. And once we have the lines where we'd like to have them, we could just move to sell or if we wanted to go ahead and bracket this order in before we move anything, then we can do that as well. So we can go here to 63.17 for our buy. And we'll put that right there, 63.17. Get our buy order entered. And once we have our take profit exactly where we'd like to have it, then we simply move to buy and sell. Oops, grabbing that line there instead of my... Uh... There we go. Just select move to buy and sell, uh, left click and drag that over and it'll activate your move to buy and sell which will give us a bracket order straight away. So uh, once that's in, we're good to go. So now we've entered a bracket order here on the a pound USD. So we've entered at the same time, we have a buy order here and we have a sell order uh, right down here. And if we'd like to modify anything at all, we can do that just by moving our lines and uh, making the, uh, the modification for exactly where we'd like to have it. So there we go. So those orders are on, those orders are pending and it's that easy. Now we know what our maximum risk is going into this trade. Our maximum risk is the entry point, uh, the distance from the entry point to the, uh, the stop loss, that's our maximum risk. Now, um, we could, uh, uh, the cool thing here is the software is once the trade moves in our direction, so we know what our maximum risk is, but once the, once the trade moves in our direction and it hits take profit one, the software automatically moves our stop loss to break even plus one, ensuring that we have a profitable trade. And uh, that's what it's all about, locking in those profits and ensuring that we're profitable long term. And that's how we how we do it. Now the software does have to be running in order to make that happen. So if uh, your computer is asleep, that that won't execute. If um, you know you have a laptop and you shut it down, it uh, it won't execute. We have to be running. The computer has to be awake in order for the executable to work. And um, and, and that means that now your your monitor could be off, but you do have to be out of sleep mode or can't be in hibernation or anything like that. All right. So that's it. Pretty darn easy to use the software. 
just takes a second to uh, have a look at these uh, reports from Forex Show every evening and then go in and park the trades. Um, he does always let us know that it may stall the first time in Asia. Uh, it's very typical as we um, enter the Asian markets for uh, sometimes there to be a bit of a, a, a pullback and then and then it moves again. So very often we'll see price move to a key level and then reverse the first time and then it moves on shortly after that as the full Tokyo market gets underway or we get near that London open. So uh, do keep that in mind. I encourage everyone to trade these and then um, have a look at how they're performing and see you know, if, you're, if your timing is correct. Of course, tomorrow we'll be back in the marketplace live utilizing the 12-step uh, daily regimen for Forex Joe in conjunction with the daily report and these alerts to see how we enter trades under live market conditions. Uh, but let's go ahead and turn our attention over to the daily report right now and see um, what exists um, that we can um, that we can find for the for the coming week. What we're concerned about here that the daily report offers us a lot of information, it shows us our our channels. So on the daily level, it shows us our compressed channel. Um, then it also shows us our weekly and our monthly channels. So we have a short term, a mid term, and long term channels that we can watch. And this is across 22 currency pairs. Uh, what we typically look for on a Monday night or a Sunday night is we can grab this report and uh, and go through it to see if we have any key channels that are setting up that are um, trading at a three of three level. And that's big because typically when we see a three of three channel, that means a channel that's lining up on the short term, the mid term, and the long term level, we're typically going to see that number uh, multiple times throughout the trading week. It's not like it'll just hit it once and move on. We'll typically see that number, so it's a great way for us to set up our trading week to look for key levels to trade off of. You know, keep in mind if it's a major level of support and we uh, and we're trading above it the first time we get there, we'll we'll look to to go long from that. Um, if we're you know, and, and if it does finally break through it, then we look at look for it to retest that level. So um, uh, those those levels are key for us. So what we do is we always just take a couple of minutes at the end of our our Monday session. And just have a quick scan to see if there are any levels that are lining up at that three of three channel level. So let's just uh, just takes us a second to scroll through. Um, we see a lot of these two of three channels. By the way, here we have 3728. It's a two of three channel on the Euro USD as a channel bottom. Um, let's just scroll on through here. 6044 on the pound USD. That's quite a ways away from us, but um, nothing that's setting up as a three of three yet. Scrolling on down is the uh, USD Swissy, nothing there. US Yen, nothing. Okay. Sometimes we have a whole lot that, that are lining up. Sometimes we don't have any. It just depends on what's happening in the marketplace. Uh, New Zealand USD, we have a two of three channel, short term and mid term, but nothing longer term just yet for us. Uh, Euro yen 4169 major level right there. So here's a three of three channel. Um, we're currently trading at 4176, and we see that at uh, well, I say it's currently at the time of this report, we were trading at 40 uh, 14176, and uh, we see that we have a three of three channel here at 4169. So the first thing we would do is we would park a buy order here at 4169. So if it did pull back and get to this level. Then uh, we would look to go long off of 41.69. Does it mean it's not going to hit that level and just, you know, break through it with a vengeance and keep rolling? No, of course not. I mean, it, it, it can certainly do that. But um, the, the the higher probability, uh, when we and we just know this from you know, over a decade of of practice with Forex Joe, is um, that when price does get to a key level like that, typically it's going to bounce the first time it gets there. So 41.69 key level here to watch on the euro yen. If it does break it, then we'll look to uh, to settle on a retest of that key level at 41.69. What else do we have here? Scrolling on through, we've got uh, nothing there on the euro pound. Let's see, scrolling on down. Pound yen up. Oh, no, no three of threes. Aussie, yen. Well, it's interesting to see it this sparse for, uh, here we go, odd CAD. 
We have a key level setting up here at the top. We have a channel top at 9,500. That'd be a key level for us. That's a key level for a number of reasons. It's a three of three channel, but it's also a whole number. That's going to give a lot of additional resistance to that level there at the top. So if that's a pair that you trade, you might be watching 9,500 right now. Scrolling on through. Euro Swiss, nope, Aussie, New Zealand, uh, CAD Yen. Here on the CAD Yen, we're also seeing a key channel, uh, daily, weekly, and monthly lining up at 97.64. So uh, definitely some opportunity there for trading if we uh, if we get to that number. Again, if we're trading below it, the first time we get there, we're going to uh, look for it to reverse. So if we're trading below this number and we came to a channel top of 97.64, we would sell off of that. If that's a channel, that, if that's a uh, pair that you trade, you would sell the first time you get there. Now, of course, uh, same process uh, applies. You know, we would look to keep our stops tight, and we would look to take profit quickly as well. But um, you know, look to lock it in. If it does break through there, then of course a major level of resistance, if it is broken, typically becomes support for us. So if it did break through it, we would look for price to come back down to that level and give us an opportunity either to, uh, to exit or to enter long at that point. Uh, New Zealand yen, 84.77, see some opportunity there. And uh, that looks like it, I think. Yeah, that's it. So we just had a couple that were lining up at key levels, not, uh, not a whole lot that we're seeing there, which, you know, could... Um, yeah, you know, maybe tomorrow night we'll see some additional. And you know, keep in mind we've got some major news announcements coming up this week. The FOMC on Wednesday is probably the the big one to see what actually happens there. So we'll keep our eye our eye on that news announcement on Wednesday. Maybe uh, coming into Wednesday night we'll have some more three or three channel opportunities there. But uh, for right now we just had those few, and so those are our key levels we could mark on our chart. So if those are our currencies that you trade, then you have a couple of trading opportunities there as well. So. Um, that's it for me for tonight. Uh, quick class, as always. Mondays are typically very, very quick. We're just kind of in the door, out the door. We talk about how to utilize the software, which we've accomplished, and we run through that daily report to see what our channels are setting up at. So uh, with that said, we'll be back tomorrow morning for our um, normal uh, U.S. trading session. So um, 9 a.m. Eastern, 8 Central. We'll be here to trade the uh, just after the, the U.S. Open. And we'll be utilizing Forex Joe's methodology in conjunction with the daily report and, uh, and the 12-step regimen for live trading. So uh, that's it for me for this evening. Thank you very much for joining us. And we will talk to you soon. Bye.